Hi everybody, welcome back to the Kid Friendly Video Channel and I want to personally thank each and every one of you for coming back to watch our videos every day. I was late this morning and someone caught me out and asked me where the video was. I was surprised because I didn't think people actually waited for them, but thanks very much for watching all the videos. We're making uh, custom Pixar cars on our channel the last while back. We made all the Crazy 8 cars from Cars 3. There's a whole whack of them back there. And if you want to watch them, there's a link up here. You can see the little button you can push there or somewhere on your tablet or phone. You can go back and watch all our videos. We got about 50 or 60 videos now of these custom Pixar cars. We even have some from way back in Halloween. Look, there's Crazy Frank, remember? You can watch that video up there too somewhere. And we got all the cars. We even have a, um, a new generation or next gen Lightning McQueen, which is actually Jackson Storm painted. And we got all kinds of other cars here, folks. And it seems our most popular ones are the fabulous cars. And our most popular ever video was fabulous Miss Fritter. This is actually Miss Fritter painted the colors of Doc Hudson. And Doc Hudson was fabulous. Okay, that's what we did. We made Doc Hudson. I mean, we made Fabulous Miss Fritter. But the real Doc Hudson has actually red wheels. And I found this the other day in the store. So I got this here. I didn't open it yet. And I got Heyday Smokey. When Smokey was young and in his heyday, that's what he looked like. And now what he looks like here, he's all rusty and old. This is what he looks like in Cars 3. Look, rusty old fenders and everything. But Smokey's very popular. And he used to be Doc's trainer back in the old days when Doc was just a young racer and winning all the trophies and Piston Cup. And people asked me to make a fabulous Smokey. So for today's video, which is probably going to be Friday, right now you're watching this, I will have, I'm going to paint Smokey Primer Gray, and then I'm going to have two coats of beautiful blue on it to match Doc Hudson. Doc Hudson. Paint his wheels red and his tires black, and put number 51 maybe on the doors and the roof. And it's going to be really cool. So let's get our primer paint out right now, and we'll paint Smokey Primer Gray. There we go, we're all set to go here. We got our paper down in our tray. I'm gonna put some primer gray right here. And we're gonna pick a nice size brush because Smokey's pretty big. We're gonna cover him completely with primer gray paint. We use primer folks all the time first to get a nice coat on. Um, so it covers up the car or the truck completely. And then we'll put the right color on. In this case, it'll be blue, just like Doc Hudson. Now there's no tail lights on him at all. So we're not gonna bother with tail lights. And when I'm doing the demolition derby cars, I don't really care about how much it looks how it looks when I'm when I'm painting because it's demolition. They're gonna get smashed up anyway. But in this case, with the smoky, I want it to look pretty good. I especially have to be careful around his eyes and his windows. So it's gonna be pretty good. Now, if you watch the video today or yesterday, sorry, you'll see that I did fabulous Luigi and fabulous guido if you didn't see them yet there's a button here you can push and take it right back to it It'll, and you can watch those videos that was pretty cool i was really happy they turned out the way they did came out just right yeah and they were just people requested the bg guido too so that's why i did it i read all your comments by the way if you're first time here i check all the comments and see if i get some ideas and usually I, sometimes i put a vote what do you want me to make you know and people vote and if i get a couple of votes for one i'll do that one or the other one so this is going on pretty nice guys yeah, keep your comments coming in. I read them all, and um, I really appreciate the feedback I'm getting. I get a lot of positive feedback, very neg very little negative feedback, which is really nice to see. That means people are liking the videos. And if you hit the like button, and if you watch the video all the way through, it really helps my watch time, which means more people will see the video. The way Google works, if you don't watch the video or skip ahead, they might not show it to too many people. So the more people see it, the better, and the more videos I can make. Very careful on the eyes. It's very much the hardest part. I always say that. When people ask me to do cars, I don't know who they are, like the names of them, Laney something, I don't know who that is. Maybe send me a link, whoever it is. Send me a link to that one and I'll look it up. There's no way I'm gonna get in under those eyes with this brush. I have to use a teeny mini brush. I'll use this one here. See that? Way up under there. There, that came pretty good, even by, for my standards. Okay, I'm almost done with the primer coat, folks. And once this dries, I can get the blue out and we can start making fabulous Smokey. This is a great tribute to Doc Hudson, his old trainer, crew chief. Remember when they were trying to train Lightning to race like Doc? Geez, it was good. He was cruising mirrors, helping him. Wow, this is looking good. I just want to get a little better job around the window. See if this works better.
Okay, folks, there is Primer Smokey. You never see him anywhere except for Kid Party Video Channel. Um, we'll be back in a few minutes when it's dry, and we'll start putting the blue on. Okay, folks, we're all set to go here. Smokey is dry. Primer Smokey, I should say. And we got a nice brush here. It's kind of a big brush because it's a big truck. We're going to put a lot of paint on him. I have to get some more. Um, two coats definitely on Smokey. I want this to look as professional as we can to be actually um, Doc Hudson's trainer. And this is his honor to his old friend Doc Hudson. Fabulous Smokey. And I'm gonna put white headlights on again and probably a gray grill. That beautiful grill there, I'm gonna cover that gray. And um, some red taillights, I guess, even though I couldn't see any. I'll check the, the heyday version, see if you had taillights. It's right in front of me there. And see what else I can do. Now I got a small little brush for around his eyes. I think I held it out of the camera the last time I did this last few few minutes ago when I put the first coat on you couldn't see it so I got a small little tiny brush that's going good folks it's gonna look even better the second coat uh, I'm really glad I'm doing fabulous smoky especially it's an honor for Doc Hudson one of the stars of Cars 1 and actually the idea for Cars 3 too they didn't have much to go on because the, the person who did um, Doc Hudson passed away but they had lots and lots of footage of him talking about racing and everything Paul Newman was his name. He was a race car driver and an actor, a famous actor. And he was a voice for Doc in Cars 1. And he wasn't in Cars 2, but they revived him for Cars 3 with old footage they had. Lots of audio recordings of Doc talking, and they made it work. It came really good. And I think Cars 3 was one of the best. I like Cars 1 the best because it was the first one and it made all this here. But Cars 2, people didn't like it. I like Cars 2. And when I polled people here, some people liked Cars 2, some didn't, but that's okay though. It has their own preferences. And I like Cars 3 a lot because it had a lot of emotion in it. And um, especially when Lightning couldn't race and he had a big crash and everyone felt sad. The, the theater was silent when he was in the air. Remember that? And how many of you have the Cars 3 DVD now? Everybody? Or is anybody getting it for Christmas? It's for sale everywhere now. There's a couple of different versions of it. There's a super 4K version of it, I think, and there's actually the regular version. Yeah, I think it was 1080p or something like that there. It should be pretty good. Okay, I'm almost done with the first coat, folks, and there's definitely going to be two coats on... Uh oh the box is still a bit wet, as you can see. I'm going to try and get around that somehow. Put lots of blue in there, and I probably won't put a second coat in there. I'll just do as best I can with what I have here, and hopefully I won't have to worry about it anymore. Lots of gray there. Yeah, big blob there. Didn't need to dry long enough. Well, I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to put a second coat in there. Lots of paint right there in the corner. And it'll dry eventually. It'll be blue. And um, we're going to leave that right there. And let it dry. And we'll come back and put the second coat on. Okay, we're all set for a second coat. Need a lot more paint. I think the first one went, um, went pretty good. But uh, going to need more, I think. It's pretty thick. Okay, there's a nice brush here. I'm not going to do the box inside. I might do the box to see how it goes when I'm doing it. Okay. Let's start again with the nice blue paint. See, it goes on way better the second coat. I'll do the wheels and tires again, don't worry. And his bumpers and all that'll be done right nice. Going on faster too. Oh, did you see that? Right in the gray. Well, I'll leave that dry and then paint right over it. <laughs> Could happen to anybody, folks. There's gonna be a lot of paint. We can cover that up pretty quick. It's almost dry now because the car is really warm because I had that on the heat lamp. So it dries pretty fast. Okay, let's turn it around. And I'm gonna do the wheels red when I got it, now that I got it. I got it ready to go now, so I'm all set. And the tires in black later. And then just gonna, I'm just gonna write number 51 on the side. There's no way I can write smoky or fabulous on the side of this. It's impossible. I have to get a sticker or something to put on there. There's no way I can write that on with this paintbrush. So we're gonna pass on the writing. We're just gonna put the number on. Okay, we're going along pretty good here. And I'm going to do under the eyes again with that small little brush. That's the hard part. See in there? Look, you can hardly see what's light, but there's gray in there where I forgot to prime it with the first coat. I forgot to put the first coat of blue in there. So I'm just going to try again with a small, small brush and see if I can get it to look really good. This is coming out really nice, folks. And all I'm going to put, like I said, is 51 in yellow on the door and do is um, headlights and nice white. It is fabulous. Fabulous, smoky. Great folks. 
And the box is probably pretty much done. I don't have to worry about that anymore. It's probably wet in the corner, the paint, but I'm not going down there. It's gonna go right on the edges here. I'll try, see what happens. It's been a while. Oh, that looks good. Okay, in the back, the trunk lid. Or the tailgate, I guess you call it. Now, the mistake I made over here, check it out. I'll fix that right now. See, that's the beauty of having lots of paint. I'll cover that right up where the, I put the wrong paint on the brush. Okay, I'll put another coat on that in a little while. Now, where's my thin, thin brush? I'll try this one here, see if I can get it. I don't need some more paint though, folks. I need a drop, but here it goes. Up under the, the eyes. No. Okay, we're gonna stop right there before I make too much more of a mess. I got some blue where I shouldn't have it. Okay, so let's stop right there and we'll come back in a few minutes. Actually, I'm only gonna do it, I'm gonna paint this wheels red right now. There's my red. I can do four wheels now because the car is half dry already. Looks like it might take two coats, they're steel wheels. Yeah, definitely gonna take two coats on the wheels because they're steel, they're not plastic. Oh, definitely gonna fix the tires up. Okay, I'll come back when that's dry and put the extra coat on. Okay, okay, look at the wheels that dried the first coat. So I'm gonna put some more red on the wheels, see if I can get them nice and bright red. Everything else is dry. I want these nice bright red wheels. It's an honor to Doc Cousins red wheels. And then I'll come back in a few minutes put the black tires on, but I might put on his headlights right now and maybe his grill. It dries really fast now because it's really warm. There, that came pretty good. I'm leaving them alone. I'm just going to finish out the second coat to the wheels over here. There we go, that's nice. And the last one. There we go. That's the fourth one, and now I'm gonna get the gray and do his front bumper gray and his grill gray and his headlights be white. See, that's the best I ever did. Okay, and now the grill. Put my fingers right in the paint, see that? Perfect. And now I'm going to try and get his headlights white. That's all we need. Okay, here goes. Nice, wow. And yellow, I can put number 51 on the doors. I use the same brush because it works so well. Okay, there's my yellow. Here it is. Still have to patch up the wheels and tires yet. There we go. And I can't put Smokey on the side. I'm just gonna write 51 in nice size numbers on the side. I'll have to fix that with the blue. Okay, and I got red on top of the roof. See that? My fingers. I'll fix that in a sec too. Okay, here goes 51. Okay, Let's see if I can fix that yellow up. That's better, 51. And the other side, 51. I can touch that up with the blue in the middle there. Do you want a little bit of blue here too? Perfect. And I'm gonna write, actually, you know what? I got some red paint on the roof. I have to fix that first. I might write 51 on that too. But I'm gonna do the tires black now first. There, I got the roof all patched up from my fingerprints. Geez, looking pretty good, folks. And um, let's see, where is the black? Right here? Okay. There's black. Now I gotta get a brush for the tires. Let's see if I can do this without getting paint all over the place. Some black paint. Oh, that's a big brush. I might blow it on that. Here it goes. I'll practice on this side because this isn't the picture side. Oh, that came pretty good. 
Okay, now the other side, the back wheel. There it goes. Wow, nice. Okay, if I can do that on the other side, I'll be laughing. Oh, my finger right in the blue, right in the roof again. <laughs> this is not that easy, guys. Okay, and the back tire. Let's patch the roof up again because I know I got paint on top of the roof. In the back fender. Okay, where's that blue brush? Here it is. We can patch that up pretty quickly. Right here. There. And I think it's put, put some more red on the middle, on the tire again, because on the wheel, because I kind of got a lot of paint on the, the wheel. Nice. Okay. Now, how did I do on the roof? Not bad. Jeez, folks, this is finished. Let's clean up and have a look. Okay, I see I got a bunch of uh, black paint on the front fender here, so I'm going to paint that fender over again. Can't have that. How would have that have happened? Wow. Okay, perfect. Now let's turn it over and have the other side. A little bit of gray on the black, so let me fix the black tire up. There, let's leave this dry and get some pictures. Well, there you have it, folks. The final product we have now Fabulous Smokey, Doc's trainer from the old days, and here's Heyday. Smoky, it's still in the package. I didn't open that yet, but he's a bright color, you know, nice bright red. And there, of course, is fabulous Doc Hudson. And over here in the back wall, I've got fabulous Lightning McQueen right there. See it? I'll open that someday too. We have a whole wall of cars not open yet. And we have all kinds of cars here. We've made custom cars. I want to go through the list of uh, fabulous. We have fabulous Dusty from Planes, number 51. Whew. Fabulous Jackson Storm with red wheels, igniter on the hood. Fabulous Cruiser Mirrors, white wheels, silver. Fabulous Chick Hicks. Fabulous Guido, Fabulous Luigi, Fabulous Mater, and the Fabulous Doc Hudson himself. Fabulous Lightning Queen, wrong color, we'll fix that someday. And now Fabulous Smokey. And the most famous of all is Fabulous Miss Fritter, like I mentioned before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. And there's our Chester Lip Filter. Lightning McQueen with a disguise on. And one of these days we're gonna make another Demolition Derby car. We're gonna take Jackson Storm and turn it into a Demolition Derby car. Maybe cover it with mud too, who knows? It's a good idea. But anyway, thanks for watching folks and please come back and watch more of our videos. Smokey came out a lot better than I had hoped. It's perfect, nice job. Thanks for watching folks, have a great day.